Hello, dear math family. It's me. This is the last time you're going to be hearing from me. It's uh, rather emotional for me. I didn't think it would be, but 35 years is a long time to be doing something. And when you stop it, it's a little profound. Um, there's been a lot of books written about teachers. Uh, one of my favorites is Anne of Green Gables. And I liked it because it's about a young teacher who came across a lot of people who wanted to see her fail. And she always turned them around and got them and won them over and called them her kindred spirits. And she's all about kindred spirits. And I think that was beautiful um, because I, I can relate to that because I have found so many kindred spirits in all of you. Um, I've made some amazing friendships and have worked with so many people I admire, so many unsung heroes and some heroes. Um, just some parting words. I hope that we continue to fight racism in this district in all of its ugly forms and that we work toward equity so that our students in the end will be achieving at the same level as kids from the suburbs because they certainly aren't able to. They just have to work a lot harder to get there. Uh, one of the things I've learned is uh, don't ever be afraid. I, you know, I've had a lot of anxieties and have been afraid of certain things that come up. But whenever you think of the word fear, think of future events aren't real. So if you're afraid of something, when it comes along finally, it's never as bad as you think it's going to be. Uh, reflect on, is your class the type of class that you would want your child or loved one to be in? And if it's not, make it that way. And if it is, just keep on uh, striving to be better and better. Because if we're not on a continuous plan of improvement, we're moving backwards. Uh, continue to develop deep and meaningful relationships with students. Because once we have those deep and meaningful relationships, kids are going to want to work hard to please us. And we can get them to progress more than one year in one year. Those are all the Kenisms, now Kenisms. Um, it's important to love your students. And the students are the most difficult to love, are the ones you need to love the hardest. It always pays off. Uh, we know STEM education will be a student's passport out of poverty. There's more STEM careers for each and every one of our students in New Haven than we can count. So uh, if they're prepared for STEM careers through STEM education, they won't miss out and their lives will get better. When one student gets out of poverty, all of our lives get better as well. Uh, as uh, that silly movie, Be Excellent to One Another and Party On, I always love that. Uh, remember kindness counts. Always check your motivations before you do something. Say, Am I, is my motivation kind? If it is, do it. If it's less than kind, rethink it. And lastly, um, my favorite quote that I just learned this year is, let your goodness be your greatness. We all have goodness inside of us. We can just let it spill forth and the world will all be a better place. So thank you for all the wonderful memories. Thank you for an incredible 18 years as math supervisor. I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm confident that I'll be doing the public schools math department better than how I found it. May God continue to bless you and your families. And please don't ever be afraid to hit me up. My cell phone number is not going to change. I'd love to hear from you, learn about your successes, or just grab a beer. Thank you. Peace out. Thank you.